what's up? We're live. Finally. I'm Dinaj, and this is my co-host, Jeremy. You're Jeremy not getting Hill, a fancy, you. fancy See, uh, if we get on video, you want to switch up on us, right? They know the deal. All right. See how it is. Our first live episode, not even live, our first YouTube channel oh, so launch. Live? No, I'm a little nervous, okay. guys. You can tell, right? It's okay. We're going to get it together. What is up? Under review. Real, raw, and authentic. We ready? You know I'm here, man. Let's go. Let's get right to it. All right. Aaron Rodgers. Liar. I've been saying this, though. Have I not? But he's a damn good quarterback. Okay. But we can... You have the athlete, and then you have the personality. What did... What did um, you old enough to remember. What did Charles Barkley say? Listen. I'm not a role model. Aaron Rodgers. I'm not a role model. Listen. I'm not a role model. He a diva. I'm not a role model. He's a diva. He got caught slacking. All right, boom. He's been slacking. And the media, the media always, he paints the narrative he wants to paint, which he has the right to. Of course, he's Aaron Rodgers. He has the right to. But come on, this is a flagrant foul, bro. It is. I mean, he's wrong for it, but... In today's in today in today's NFL, are you surprised? No. I rest my case. Okay. For those of you who don't know, if you're living under a rock, Aaron Rodgers is not vaccinated. But he lied August 26th, to be exact, and said he was vaccinated. You know there's the, rules those to it. Were those his exact words? Yeah, he said um, immunized. So he tried to use big doctor words. Right. Big medical term words. Right, right, right. Because you know he thinks he's the but smartest he, person But he didn't say he was vaccinated. It's the same thing. But he didn't say he was vaccinated. Jay, it's the same thing. I'm just telling you what the man didn't say. He misled. He lies to the people. So he's a politician. Okay, good point. All right. <laughs> Teammates, okay. There's wrong for that. Devontae Adams is out. Yeah. Lazard, they had a big Halloween party. Right, right. There's rules that he had to do. Well, the NFL rules. If you're not vaccinated, you just have to wear a mask, media. Yeah. But if you flash back, all preseason, no mask. Yeah. He dapping people up. Yep. Hey, good game. Hey, you're good. You're good. You're putting people at risk. You're putting yourself at risk. Yourself, your teammates, the organization. If you don't want to be vaccinated, that's your choice. Right, abide by the rules with a mask. He thinks he's bigger than everybody. And the organization bent backwards for him. But, they, they, but they've been doing that. So you got to humble my man. I've never seen a player that's bigger than the organization. Okay, I'm lying, but still, you're okay. trying to get my point. <laughs> okay. You get yeah, my yeah. point. I mean, look, I... I don't condone what he did. It was wrong. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. You think the locker room cares for real, for real? Or it's just like, yeah, we've been new. Does the organization even know? Did they know? Are they lying? Like, yeah, I mean, this is this is something new for everybody. So you got to figure his teammates probably knew whether the front office knew or not. I mean, that's that's you left to be seen. Know? I would assume. Yes. <laughs> Well, COVID hits everybody differently, right. so it's interesting to see. Maybe he caught it from somebody because Devontae Adams was first to be reported to have it. Maybe he had it all along, symptom show later. I don't know how it works. Haven't caught it. Um, Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk, mm -hmm. that's my guy, great reporter. He said he got a text message back in October from a GM, October 5th to be exact, that said, hey, word on the street is Aaron Rodgers – is not vaccinated. Really? But I think it's just rumors, though. That really? was back in October. A month ago. Bruh. The NFL has to make... They make an example out of everybody else. What is this going to be called? Maskate? They have to make an example. They make an example out of everybody else. And let's be real here. It's, it's effed up. They, but, but how do you make an example out of it? I don't know. Obviously, they're going to do fi fines, right? Because I feel like All they right. fine everybody. Is it too... Do you find do you find him? Do you find the the team? Do you find both? So, I would do both. As the NFL, I would do my own investigation. The NFL right now is saying, "Hey, we back off because it's up to these teams to, to regulate." Enforce, right. You know, it's messy with Aaron and so his wait, team. So you do your own investigation, and that takes I don't know, 
another 11 weeks. Okay. Hi- hypothetically speaking, the, the Packers go on a playoff run. Right. And they get to the Super Bowl, and they win the Super Bowl. Immediate and you, and action. You, and you do your investigation. What are you going to do, take the Super Bowl away from them? First of all, they ain't going to the Super Bowl. But I see your Just, point. I know. I see your point. I see your point. I'm dragging it. But, okay, something has to be done immediately. Find what, them. Whether it's a crazy-ass fine. You're going to find them? And you, what do you, I mean, what are your options? What are your, right. options? your options are to find them or to say to find them and say, um, y'all can't play for, for the rest work, of the season. Uh, one game. One game. Don't drag it. You said you said you got to make an example, right? One game? That's an example. Okay. Not a, not a <laughs> tough enough example. That's an example that they can do whatever they want. I mean, they've been doing whatever they want, clearly. Exactly. So if, you go, if you're the NFL and you're going to take action, take drastic, immediate action. like Drastic, drastic. Tell them they're done. Y'all got to sit out the rest the, of the season. They're done as a as a team oh, or y'all. he's done? Well, if, they, if the Packers knew, y'all done. I mean, okay. I'll rock with it. I rock with it. So you think the team was complicit, or you don't know? You have no idea. We, I mean, we saw what happened last year when what COVID ran through. Was it Baltimore last year? Was it, no? It was Tennessee, right? Tennessee was the first. Didn't Tennessee self-report or or say, look, somebody somebody violated something? Like, I know I they got. I know they got caught because at that time. You had to practice in what the NFL deemed was acceptable. Right. They were practicing at high school right, right, or right. wherever the hell they right. were practicing at. L- listen, this is the third time we're supposed to see Patrick Mahomes against Aaron Rodgers, the person he looks up to. The first year, Mahomes was hurt or something. Something he missed the game last year, COVID. This year, I ain't, I ain't worried about that. I'm I'm ready to see uh, Jordan Love. Okay. All right. I'm you not want? Sure, I understand. Siri, nobody talking to you. Oh, I thought, I thought that was you. <laughs> like, nobody talking. Nobody to you. got an accent. Jordan Love. Kind of want him to ball out, right? A little bit, so it, so it could be like, yo, we don't really need Aaron. Yeah, I want some controversy. Right. Because I feel like Aaron's very arrogant. He probably thinking like, yeah, let's see how this play out. Because they need me. But you acting like you surprised. I'm not, because I've been saying yeah. he was seven thirty. Like, let's see how it plays out. Let's let let Jordan Love ball out and let Aaron Rodgers go to wherever he wants to go to next year and elevate that team. Like, it's the NFL is based on controversy. Like, we see it all the time. We saw what we thought was a happy marriage with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, and then after he leaves, we find out that it was hell. So this is the beginning of allegedly, that. Allegedly, don't talk about my team. Don't okay. talk about my team. Don't talk about my coach. Don't talk about my best friend. Don't do okay. that. Allegedly, we gotta wait for the thirty for thirty. Yeah. In, in 17 years. Okay, that'll be be fire. All right. Be fire. OBJ. What He's ab- gone. What about him? He's gone. Uh, I said that six episodes ago. Yeah, you did. His dad released a video. Did you see that video? No, I didn't see it. Baby boy. Baby boy. What was it, 11 minutes and 30 seconds or something like that? Baby boy, OBJ open. Every single little, whoever put that montage up, I don't know if his dad took the time to put the it montage up. It was a real, up. like a legit video? My mans, yes. Unless he took that from some some YouTube person no, and I put it together. I didn't see it. Then, you know, LeBron like, yo, free my mans. Yeah. I mean, I've been saying two weeks ago, I kind of dragged it. I said, Baker Mayfield was killing OBJ career. You know, he blames it on the coaching. Oh, Stefanski not making the call yeah, in the plays and all that. that. But as a quarterback, don't you get to do your own thing? You don't always listen to the yeah, headset, the that, wristband, that, whatever. That headset cut off with 15 seconds left. All then right. you on your own. All right. And I'm not going to – okay, question. You think OBJ washed up? No, I just don't think there's enough balls to go around in Cleveland for him. Like, they have a lot of they they got have a lot of, They got a lot of weapons, and, and they have a solid ground game. And they got a young quarterback that does not like to lock in on somebody. He's not good. He's not bad. He's cool. He's, Baker? Yeah, he all right. You know how I feel about Baker. I'm not a fan. Yeah, and I did sip the Kool-Aid last year because it was a one-off. Yeah, the Browns, the Browns, the Browns. Yeah, I know. I, I sipped the Kool-Aid okay. in like week 12. Okay. It took me a long okay. time. You going to do that? Yeah. Right now? We can run the tape back. It was the it entire. It was time. the entire season. No, it was the entire no, season. I think it was week thirteen. It was the entire season. I'm ke- I'm going to keep going later and later. It was week fourteen. In the archives, when we're done, right? <laughs> My man's. He's not. He's average. Okay. Who? I, Baker, not OBJ. I think OBJ is still very talented. 
He needs to go we, in a we, situation. We don't, know, we don't know what OBJ is coming off the injury. Coming off the injury, you keep saying that. We don't know. Because that was a, a very real injury. Yeah. And then he has that shoulder. It's it's a lot going right. on. But if he's in the right system, right situation, he's not done up. He's not washed. We don't know that. We don't know coming off that injury. I'm going to say. You're going with your heart of hearts because that's what you do. I'm telling you from a former player, we don't know what we have with that coming back from that injury, especially with a fast twitch athlete like OBJ. He is very fast. Okay, so I'm going to put it out there that he is not. We're going to disagree on this one. No, no, I'm not saying he's why. I'm just saying I don't know. What, what we have left. We don't know. He has a slim window, in my opinion, with his age and, like you said, the injury, yeah. to get in a position where he can prove everybody wrong. Right. That's all he has to do. And continue his legacy. That's all he has to do. Because he's he's down and out. I don't even remember him that on the Browns. Did. Yeah. Nobody and he, does. And he had one year that was that was good, right? Well, even if he had a great year, he's it's with the Browns. Like, that negates everything. You're so disrespectful. Why that are you negates like this? all that stuff. Why are you like this? But, you know, whole conspiracy theory that he called and, and had his daddy and um put that together. But I need to see the video. No, it's fire. I need so to see the... <laughs> you ain't see the video, but the video comes out and it's like, oh, we told him to stay home. He can't come to practice. Yeah, I saw that. OK, I saw that. We told him to stay home again. He can't come to practice. OK, Baker is like, you know what? So it sounds like the Browns don't want him. No, there. they're done. He's done. So then let him go. Cut him. So he can go sign with somebody else. They should have tried to trade him. But I understand I it understand business-wise. The trade, value, business wise, the, trade value, the trade deadline was, what, 4 o'clock Monday. All this came out when? Tuesday, right? So That happened on Tuesday. The father released the video on Tuesday. Trade deadline day. Oh, Tuesday. The tra- the Tuesday was the trade deadline. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he released it on Tuesday. So he was trying to force their hand. I mean, I think. I'm going to say, because I don't know OBJ. I don't know his daddy. None of that. I think he was a frustrated parent. Hmm. Who did what he do? You can't control your parents. You can't control your family when you're in a certain level of success, even when you're not in a certain level of success. Did he mean it to be intentional? Did he you, know? You can't control your parents, but you can make a statement saying you can. he don't I speak agree. for me or I, she don't speak for I, me. He's quiet. He's quiet. So, I mean, that lets us know where he stands. I mean, the man don't get old. I mean, the man get open. They don't never give him the rock. So, His daddy ain't lying. But do you... <laughs> You're talking about grown ass men that's making millions of dollars. Do you let your daddy air that laundry, or do you go grab Baker and go sit in the head coach's office and say, "Yo, I'm an all pro receiver that did this, this, and this. I need the, I need the damn ball." I mean, I would check my daddy if I was Baker. I would. I mean, OBJ. I would. Yeah. I check my daddy, but at the same time, it do it do make Baker look crazy. But we already know Baker is average. Okay, let's not let's not get gas. It is what it is. You keep on saying he's average. I... You think he bad? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're not good. You, listen, you know, you know where I, know, I stand. I know I'm, you think I'm he transparent. Trash. I know you think he's trash. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. He's a hell of a competitor, and I admire that about him. But when it comes to playing quarterback, he has swag. He has a lot of progressive does commercials. That, does that win you games? Does that bring championships? No. All right. Is that a good reason to let go of a player, though? The Browns organization, too distracting, blah, 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 blah. My man's, you're out of here. Because I'm going to give it to, to— To let go of OBJ? Yeah, they're going to yes. get rid of him. Yeah, he's a distraction, yes. If you're not—clearly his actions show that he's not on board or his lack of action, you know, speaking out against what his father did, shows that he's not on board with whatever the team goals are. Even if even if you feel like, okay, what, what they're doing is not— utilizing me to the best of my, my ability and I can mm-hmm. help the team win games, you don't create a, a distraction, especially going into week nine when you're in the AFC North and you're, like, trying to position yourself for a playoff run. Okay, so let me ask you a question. I already know the answer, but I'm just going to put it out there. When Baker's wife is chatting and she talks a lot from time to time or Patrick Mahomes' wife is chatting, or his mommy is chatting, or his brother's doing something crazy. That doesn't seem to affect, and I, I already know They're not dropping mixtapes. Okay. End the story. Okay. You, you drop a mixtape, that's a big deal. Okay, so, OBJ, your cut. What organization is he a good fit for? Should he go to? You know I'm going to say the Patriots, but we already got a lot of receivers. So, I want the Patriots to take everybody, hush. <laughs> Squads or squads he would be good fits for.
you got to you got to you got to figure if you're swapping speed for speed, you know what's going on with the Raiders and Rugs. Raiders, definitely. Even fair trade, right? Just boom. Um, you're talking about teams trying to position to be contenders. Green Bay. You're talking about teams that are known for bringing people in right away to see what they can do. Do you bring an OBJ to a Seattle and see what he can do to that offense? Seattle do, needs all the help they can do get. You, do you bring an OBJ to San Francisco and see what he can do there? That quarterback situation murky. Yeah, but still, you got you got you have a quarterback that you paid a lot of money for in Garoppolo that's not producing because he right. he says because or he's not saying people are saying because he doesn't have a legitimate number one threat. Okay, so we just gonna disregard Debo Samuel. Is we he a legit not. number one? But he has talent on that yeah, roster. Nobody said he wasn't talented. He's it's a legit number one. You know, you can't win in this league without a legitimate number one threat. Okay, so there's two types of quarterbacks, and you know this. It's a guy that's going to make you a threat in, in, in your locker room and your thing. And As, it's a, aside from Tom Brady. <laughs> Peyton Manning was another one. That made receivers? No, he of, didn't. He had great receivers. Okay, he had amazing I'll, receivers. I'll, I'll, Tom Brady. Oh, wait, you name them. All right, Tom Brady. That's it. Yeah. I stopped. I thought about it. Right. Tom Brady. All right. Everybody else has legit number, even the worst At teams. least one. At least one yeah. number one receiver. Well, yeah, you can only have one number one. Listen, he was the man Unless when he you're first. Arizona. He was the man when he first got there, right? With them four games that he won at the end of the season, and everybody was praising his praises. He's going to change the franchise. Blasey, blasey, blasey. Yeah. Uh, then we saw, we saw what happened. He got hurt, right? And he hasn't been the same since. He's always hurt. Always. So we're talking about fits. I mean, I think those those teams have immediate needs. Saints, no Michael Thomas. Yeah, but you really have nobody to get him the ball. Oh yeah, Trevor Simeon yeah, and Taysom nah. Hill. Yeah, nah, nah. Well, if we're talking like that, Cam is available, and I know they give Cam a lot of lip service. He done got vaccinated and everything to play. It ain't happening this year. And uh, Carson Wentz isn't vaccinated. Cole Beasley isn't vaccinated. Kirk Cousins, I don't know if he still isn't but vaccinated. But they're already, they, they already on teams yeah. that they've been on. I don't know. He needs to go somewhere. If it, if it, if, if it was you, no if if it was no COVID and Cam just got released from the Patriots, he, he would have been picked up already. By a long but time ago. Because of COVID and, and Cam being so open about how he feels for vaccination, against vaccination, whatever it might be, and then it's the middle of the season now. you got to bring in a quarterback who doesn't know your offense, who doesn't have chemistry with your receivers. And I feel the same way. I let, I'm happy you said that point because when it comes to OBJ, difference between OBJ and Deshaun Jackson to me is Deshaun is like, and that's no disrespect to him because he's great, mm -hmm. he's still fast, but he gets vertical. Like, yeah. OBJ can do a lot of different things. So right. I feel him coming into a different team at this point in time is a little tricky. So OBJ, I know, I know OBJ is not going to sit out the rest of the rest of the year. No, somebody will grab him up just because he's OBJ. Right. Because when he gets healthy, that's going to be a legitimate asset to have in your offense but to think that he can go in somewhere right now again it's week nine right so you're talking about a receiver who's not at his best physically not in terms of his skills but physically physically he's really not right trying to you know create chemistry with a new quarterback new team new, new team playbook, new place new playbook coaching. new coaches like all that so that's a lot damn hate to see it but that's not to say he won't get picked up. Somebody will, no, he's will snatch him up. up and, you know, have him slowly work his way and try to be ready by the end of the season. Yeah, I hate to see it. Well, I hope – the hope is he goes to a team that's going to end up in a playoff and be contenders because they could send him to a garbage team. They could. They really could because they disrespectful like that. Let's talk about your boy Henry Ruggs. Unfortunate situation. Very unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. 156 it, it, miles an hour? Yeah, it's... I mean, that's inexcusable. 0.161? That's inexcusable. 
It's not looking good. The the when, 20 you're, years when max. you're in the league, you have every resource at your disposal. You can literally pick up a phone, push a button, or you can tell somebody else to call the number right. Right. and just say, "Yo, I have so and so here. He's had a little bit too much. Come get him." Thank God him and the mother of his child is okay, but it is very unfortunate that another young woman has lost her life. Right. The Raiders did the right thing by cutting him. Immediately. I feel I feel sympathy for him because he made a terrible decision that he has to be held accountable yeah, for. Without a doubt. It's just it's it's a crazy situation. It is. But I think the Raiders handled that one the right way. They're just getting hit this year. First, the the emails, yeah. that was a topic for weeks, yeah. but they seemed to persevere through the emails, and I really thought they were going to spiral, given their patterns. This week, they lose their top guy. You think they're going to pull through? I know Darren Waller, to me, is, is whatever, but you think yeah, they're going to pull yeah. through? Yeah, I mean, you know, usually you see situations like this in pro sports, either divide a team or make the team rally together. So I think... Because it's not the first instance of adversity for them in the in the last month or so, I think it's not going to really do much to them. They have to, um, like Derek Carr said, they got to you know give him love, right? Give that him was love, his yeah, and come mm-hmm. and come together and, and still focus on whatever their goals are. So, but I, I absolutely think the Raiders did the right thing by getting you know, cutting ties with him right away. Yeah, that was a smart move. Yeah. All right, let's segue to. The AFC. Derrick Henry is gone. I know you're ground and pound team. Mm-hmm. They picked up Adrian Peterson. Mm-hmm. To Derrick Henry is their identity. Do you have that same confidence in your in the Titans? Do you tr- really trust Ryan Tannehill? Ryan Tannehill to T- Tannehill. Can't speak sometimes. Tannehill, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, what do you really expect from Adrian Peterson? I don't know. I don't expect for him to be Derrick Henry. That's out. But I'm saying, as far as them, um, the Titans just have to win enough because they're already in good position. Yeah, I mean, to get to coming the out of the the AFC South, the bar is low, right? I mean, you got Houston, you got Indy, Tennessee, and Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. So three out of those teams, like they're trash, right? I th- me personally, I think I think if Tennessee, if Adrian Peterson can do enough to keep defenses honest, then yeah, you double down on Tannehill and see what he's made of. You got the tools now. Mm-hmm. You got the receiving core. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. All right. I kind of talked around the question, but I'm not. Do I do I still feel the same about the Titans? They're gonna grind it out if they have Mike Vrabel's personality. Yeah, that's it. That that, you said it. That's that's it right there, right? It's losing Derrick Henry is a is a big loss, but and and he fit what Vrabel wants that team to be. Right, tough. But Adrian Peterson ain't no slouch. I know he's not. How and old is he? Thirty five. No matter how old he is, he could be he could be forty five. It just he's just an anomaly. Yeah, nasty n- like no, that. not even that. It's just if if I don't care if he run, runs for thirty yards a game. Right. If he runs hard and physical. The identity is still there. I get what you're saying. So it, it doesn't change much. Okay. So there's no timetable. First there wasn't a timetable. Then there was, oh, he'll be back in a few weeks. Then it was, he has to have surgery on his foot. You being in your field, mm. former athlete mm. who has his own facility that works on preventing major injuries and rehabbing, all this awesome mm. stuff that you do, and we'll plug that in later. Mm. Do you see him coming back in time for, well, maybe not in time for playoffs, but if the Titans make a playoff run, mid-playoffs, whatever, do you see him coming back? I don't know the nature of the injury. I don't know what type of foot injury it they, was. They, they, they were very, very vague. Yeah, mm-hmm. they've been very um, closed mouth about, mm-hmm. you know, was it a Liz Frank injury? Was it a, you know, was it a, um, a, an, more of an ankle injury? We don't know. So I can't tell you from, from a professional standpoint what that rehab looks like, if I think he can be ready. I can tell you this, he's a 250-plus pound man. That's an injury to the foot. So Broken bone, right? Yeah. Broken so foot, broken when bone. it's surgically repaired, to have 
that 250 plus pound man put more weight and more pressure on that foot immediately after surgery. Could he be ready? Yes. Could he be? Will he be effective? Why risk it? That's, yeah, I, that's exactly. I'm the why risk it person. Exactly. Why risk it? Okay. AFC North mm-hmm. got a little interesting with the Bengals loss. Bengals lost. First of all, what the hell happened? We're not even going to talk about what happened last Sunday. That's yeah. Bengals lost. I still think they're elite, even though that was a free loss. But I wrote the Steelers off. Now, all of a sudden, halfway through the season, let's see if they keep it up. All of a sudden, they got a run game. All of a sudden. All of a sudden, that defense is getting tighter. Remember, remember <laughs> the tape, right? Remember when I said Najee Harris, and what did she say? I said they got to open it up for him, and then he going to get there. He was oh, in a beast man, off the rim. We got to... We got to pull all this tape back because— I didn't say that? No. What else? I didn't say he was trash. No, you didn't say he was trash, but you definitely wasn't on on, on the bandwagon. They didn't have a run game. It okay. took them nine weeks. Okay. Eight. Right. Eight weeks. Okay. Don't look at the camera. They, okay. It took them eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't okay. be on his side. Right. It took yeah, them run people— the, run, look run, at, the, run, it the run the tape back. Eight weeks. It took them run eight the tape weeks. Back. Run the tape back. Okay. I don't care. I could be— what is it? Loud and wrong is the expression? Yeah. I could be loud and wrong loud and in this wrong, one. Wrong, all, all of the above. <laughs> no, it, look, the Steelers, the Steelers are the Steelers, right? You can never count them out, especially with a coach like Mike Tomlin, especially with a culture like the Steelers have, right? And especially being in the AFC North, which at the end of the day is going to be the wild, wild west of all, of all the divisions. Any team in that, in that division can step up and clip all the other teams. With no issues. Maybe secretly I wanted them to be trash for one time. I, I think so. I think everybody loves to hate the Steelers. I think they're one of those teams where it's either you're a fan or you just can't stand them. Me personally, growing up when I grew up, like I like what the Steelers are about. They're physical they're a physical team. They're an attitude team. When they play that way, they win games. When they decide to be something they're not, that's when you're like, yo, the Steelers are really trash. Look at my face. I know you're not buying it, but that's what it is. No, I'm just not off of them because Patriots fan, AFC, if it wasn't the Colts, it was the Steelers, it was the Red. I don't bang with y'all. So I wanna see you I wanna see you suffer you want, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you wanna see you wanna see the competition get thinned out so you have right. a cakewalk to Right. Cause right now, Pat's four and four, baby, we going up. Playoffs. What's up? Holla at me. Holla at me, baby. AFC looking crazy now. AFC it's, looking crazy. It's not, crazy. but it's not. It's low-key for me. It's, looking. Not. <laughs> it's not. It's looking crazy. All thanks to the Chiefs being a hot-ass mess. Yeah. And they struggled against the Giants, baby. Yo, they, they were trying to let the Giants win that game so bad. And no, the they Giants, weren't trying to let the Giants win. No, they were trying to let the Giants They're win. They're that bad. The Giants didn't want to take that, that gift they were trying to give Boy. them. Boy, I said, we doing trick plays on the first drive? <laughs> One, two, three trick plays? So, to me, the red flag is all the way up now. Because if you have to do all on of On the that, Chiefs? There's no red flag. You just take an X and cross, <laughs> cross them out. Them. <laughs> to put them to the side. You know, I kept like... That's what I'm saying. That's oh, why I keep saying that the, the AFC is not... Maybe. No. It, there, we saw that in week four. The Chiefs aren't... Best team in the AFC, Bills, Ravens, or somebody totally it's completely the different. The best team in the AFC right now. You you gotta you gotta slide with Buffalo. Most complete team to me. So you can be the most complete but not the best. No, most complete and best. I'm saying most complete in addition think, to your best. So I think I think I think you can be. You don't have to be the most complete team to be the best in a particular moment. Right. But I think the way the Bills are playing and the fact that they're the most complete team, I think that, you know, that grants them the title of best team in the AFC. Top three for me, no particular order. I'm going to go Bills number one Mm -hmm. and then flip-flop between Ravens Mm -hmm. and Bengals. And, damn, remember I said the Chargers were my sleeper team? Yeah. God damn it, you Chargers. Still good record, but, like you said, don't trust that defense, all that talent, and they letting people run up and down They. Goddamn throat. They they're taking they you know they remind me of um they remind me of that 06 Colts team. The the mm-hmm. you know it's just look, y'all gonna score, we gonna score, we're gonna score last and beat y'all by three. Okay. So it, it worked for, for the 06 Colts because they had a bunch of studs. Right. But 
I don't think the Chargers are experienced enough to play that type of football. Still young. I rock with Justin Herbert, though. I do. That's my I man, do. a honey green. You heard me? All right. NFC now. That thing tight. Top five teams, top six teams. It's, you know I'm right. Tom Brady, my best friend. Hey, Tom. But So, you know, I'm always going to have them overall. I think they're one of the best, but it's like a slither hair between them and the Cardinals. If I'm being real, fix your face. Fix your face. Who you got? Let me ask you this. Why, why are you so big on the Cardinals? I like Kyler Murray. Okay. I love him. You, you hear, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't logic. That was feeling. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't that, logic. I mean, that was feeling. That's a that's a step. That's a step above. You not you never sold on Kyler. You been hating on him and Russ all your life. No 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 no. Not hate. They're good, but they not. They ain't championship court. Well, not they. The Kyler. Cardinals. You don't think the Cardinals can? No. You don't. No. Okay. I still think. Listen. I'm gonna st- stick with it. Cardinals and or Rams. I put. I would put the Packers, because the Packers. She are... naming every team in the NFC. Yeah. <laughs> it's, no, it's really that tight. Look, the Rams are good, right? They're really good. Defense is good, but not great. But they just added. They just got a hell of a lot better. Yeah, yeah. They, on paper, Von Miller. Let's see what he. Nah, did. it's no on paper. It, you from... think he gonna coming out the gate? Boom, no, boom, no, boom, no, injury, no, no, no. But you gotta understand what he does. So now, all right, from that perspective, and added, Donald not going to get double team you anymore. You can't double team, right? Him. You cannot. You, okay. One hundred percent. And if you and if you decide to double team Aaron Donald, then either Von Miller or the other end is going to have a free run. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. okay, I'm going to say on paper because I don't want to acknowledge mention, that. Yet. Not to mention what they're going to do for that secondary. I don't want to acknowledge it. Yet. Can you let me be in denial? Oh, okay, good, good. Be in denial. Because the Bucks are number one. I, I agree. They will be number one at the end of the season. When everybody get healthy. No, I, it's not even about that. Well, yeah, that, that plays a role in it. But I just think the Bucks understand, specifically Tom Brady understands that, yo, you don't have to play your best football right now. But I love what the Rams do. They always go, go hard or go home. They do. But can you do that for 17 games plus playoffs? Or would you rather, you know— kind of exist between four and three or four and two, right, five and two, the mm-hmm. fifth best team and the second best team, weeks six through 14, and then start to get your shit together, 14, 15, 16, 17 playoffs. So your top five teams in the NFC doesn't have to be in any order right now. Who top you got? five, uh, Bucks, Saints. <laughs> Bucks, Saints, Packers, Cardinals, and as much as it pains me to say yeah, them this, yeah, Cowboys, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, yeah. I know, yep, yeah. I know. Yeah. Who are you missing off that list? I ain't missing nobody. You said Bucks, Bucks, Saints, you said Saints, Packers, Saints can be sneaky. Uh-huh. Cardinals, Cowboys, that's five. So you don't got the Rams on it? Nah. Hmm. Okay. Nah. Okay. Right now. Okay. Nah. Okay. I would switch. You would take who out? The Saints. But yeah, you got to take the Saints out. You got to take the Saints but they out. But they would be six. Like, you, they're you right there. You have to take they them sneaky. out now. They just lost their quarterback. Right. You have to. But after them taking taking out Tampa, I think you got to put that. You it's have to. It's a one-off. What's the word on the street talk, now? They're Tom Brady's you, you, kryptonite. You're, you're talking, so you're asking me now on on Thursday, November fourth. It just happened. You got You have to put them in. Mm-mm. Okay, don't. Mm-mm. I'm not saying they're gonna do nothing with it. Mm-mm. But as of right now, no. Now after they play on Sunday and we see how bad they really are, they'll be out. The Rams will be in. You got any Super Bowl picks? Nah, it's way too it's, early. It's, you, it's, it's too early. Too, it's halfway it's way in the season. Too early. Let me know who you got. Yo, so it's, let me know who you got offline so yeah, I can I got put them in. <laughs> it's way too early. We see what just happened w- with the Packers. Right? We don't know if they're going to take swift and immediate action and if this mandatory 10-game suspension or uh, sit-out is going to be followed up by a suspension. We don't know. That could happen to somebody else week 13. 
You could pick the Rams or the Cardinals week 13 and have the same exact thing happen. You really don't trust in my boy Kyler. You treating him like how you treated Russ. Did you see the game? Listen, he put his heart on that line. Did they win? Is that his fault or A.J. Green's fault? He the quarterback, right? He threw a perfect mother effing. Okay. That ain't his fault. It was perfect, but it was an interception. Did you see A.J. confuse as hell? Who fault is that? A.J. fault. A.J. say, yo, oh, my bad. Did he not? Did that, he not? That's on the quarterback. Okay. Quarterback lose, you blame him. Quarterback win, you praise him. I got you. That's how I go. All right. I don't make the rules. All I, right. I just follow them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep that same energy. Listen, man, I'm not, I, will, I refuse to get on the Cardinals bandwagon. Not happening. All right. Let's do fantasy. Well, obviously, it's, it's Thursday. Stop laughing at him. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's silly, right? <laughs> All right. Our fantasy. We're going to do our stardoms, and then we're going to do our sit So I would start to a tongue of Iloa. What do you got? Houston. Oh, yeah. Great matchup. Houston averages 23.5 fantasy points per game versus quarterbacks. Well, it's Thursday, so obviously you're going to see this later. But Michael Carter against the Colts, I would have started. Uh, Mike has— Part of me wants to check right now and see. But you know what's crazy? I'm just going to— Let's erase that whole thing yeah. because when I checked earlier, Mike White was out the game yeah. and Josh, whatever. So we're going to bypass that yeah. one. Um, I was kind of iffy on this. Jalen Waddle against the Texans uh, because Tua Tungavaloa seems to have his eye on that guy. Like he specifically looks for that guy to give him the ball. I wonder why. You know what? I'm over <laughs> you. Darren Waller against the Giants. That's obviously a no-brainer. Hey, hey, hey. Damn. Damn. Uh, Rams defense against the Titans. You know, Jeremy's grounded and pounded team. And for kickers, even though he had a single-digit game last week, Young Hoku is that guy. Double digits all season, and he's just a stud, period. Now, for my— You really, you really like the Rams defense against the Titans? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. All right. Cause I want to. It's a good time to see Here what the teams are made yeah, of. No, for real. Yeah. yeah. No. Logically, without their ground game in Derrick Henry, right? It's a good time to see what Ryan Tannehill can do through the air. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. It's a good test game. And this Rams defense you were talking about. Oh, they're so good. They're so big. They're so bad. They're gonna be the best. Let's see what's I didn't, up. I didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I heard. I didn't say that's that. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Uh, All right, for our sit-ums, we're going to sit Ryan Tannehill, regardless of what he says. And that running back in Philly named Kenneth Gainwell, baby boy, baby girl, whoever you are. Exactly. Jeremy don't even know, and that's in his division. You know what I'm saying? Philly is a hot-ass mess with that offense. My mans, you don't even know if you can trust them. And against a Chargers team that has the worst run re- defense, last week they played the Lions, and my man barely did a damn thing. So sit him. I would sit Robbie Anderson because I don't know what happened to the Panthers. And Robbie Anderson, outside of week one or two, has not been productive. He's going to go off this week. Against the Patriots? Yep. Watch your mouth. I would also sit Evan Ingram. Because why do you even still have him if you do on fantasy? Your man's got to go. Yeah, I agree with that. You got to go. Uh, I would say the Titans defense against the Rams. I always think the Titans defense, they're hit or miss. And if we're talking kickers, Cairo Santos against the Steelers. And that's that. Waiver wire picks. Taysom Hill, because he back. You know what I'm saying? And it's the Hawks. The Hawks. The Falcons. You know what I'm saying? You know how that go. Elijah Mitchell, that young running back, he's still on a lot yeah. of waiver wires. Listen, if he's available or you like streaming running backs, pick him up. Uh, the Cardinals are a bottom 10 run defense, fantasy-wise. And Elijah Mitchell had 137 yards against the Bears in one touchdown. And that's that. You guys can see these stardom sit 
on our Instagram page, Podcast Under Review. And that's that. That was good, Jay. Wasn't bad for the first time. Yeah, yeah. you rocked out. High five. Yeah. All that good stuff. Game picks. You want to do the game picks live? Or you want to wait? Oh, we, we do doing? both. All right. Let's pull them up. Let's pull them up. You know yours going to change anyway. Watch your mouth. Says the guy that texts the group chat. Hey, can I change my picks? Right. That, don't was make val- me, that was a valid question. Don't make me blow you up, baby. That was a valid question. Don't make me blow you up. All right, guys. So usually we say our game picks. But if you don't know, podcast on the review on Instagram. We posted our final picks live before a game. And day. somebody in the room wait until the last second to copy all the picks. Nah, nah, it's not even here. It's pointing over there. Oh, no, there. him. Oh, the other guy yeah. you can't see. Yeah. They be cheating, y'all. Especially him, because he's mad I whooped his ass last year. Now he want to. Don't, don't get us started. You. You did. You cheat. How do I cheat? Because I make good picks? Yeah, can, it's not working for me. Can you pull up the games? All right, here we go. Oh, you beat me. Week nine. <clears throat> Raiders and Giants. Raiders. Falcons and Saints. No, say your picks. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you acted totally different in front of these cameras. I'm going to go with the Giants. I knew it. Okay. But I'm going to switch it up later. Okay, Falcons, Saints. Falcons, Saints. Saints. Say it. Saints. Bills, Jaguars. Bills. Bills. Browns, Bengals. I'm going Bengals. It's tough. I want to pick the Bengals. I want to. I'm going to go with the Browns. Patriots, Panthers. I never pick against the Patriots. Panthers it is. (laughs) Broncos, Cowboys. Oh, Cowboys. Cowboys. Vikings, Raiders. Sleeper game. Wait, Vikings who? I'm sorry, Vikings, Ravens. Oh, Ravens. The Ravens just came off a of bye, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye, Vikings. They they playing at home In or Baltimore. they playing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he done up. Ravens. Uh, Texans, Dolphins. <clears throat> Come on. That's that's a Pop Warner game. No disrespect to Pop Warner. But, um. <laughs> Dolphins. Yeah. Chargers, Eagles. I can't at Philly. trust. I can't trust the Eagles for anything. At Philly, I can't trust them. I, listen, I picked them to win games they were supposed to win, and they lost. Okay, so you're going with the Chargers. 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 Chiefs. Packers. Well, now that Aaron Rodgers ain't playing, you going with the Chiefs? Hmm. Packers. Maybe right. Chiefs. I got marinade. You got to pick one. I got marinade. Come pick, back to you me. You got to pick one for the Come show. Come back to me at the end. All right. I'm going with the Chiefs. Uh, Cardinals, Niners. Cardinals. I'm going to go with the Niners. Titans, Rams. Rams? I'm going to go with the Titans. Bears, Steelers. Steelers turning up right now. Steelers. Steelers. Packers, Chiefs. I'm going for the black quarterback, man. Oh, yeah, the other one black, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Jordan Love and them. You're going with the Packers? Yeah. Okay. That's it? Yep, that's it. Me Gucci. That's it. I'm winning this week. I'm, I'm doing at least 10. Nah. You know what happens? Last time somebody made a prediction, you see how they finished. Yeah. That was a good. No shade. All right, guys. We rocked out. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. You know the deal, yo. We're going to give you fantasy, game picks, it all real, raw, and authentic. We got some giveaways coming up, too, right? Yes, later on we season. do have giveaways. We got so, some guests, too? Yeah, we have guests coming up. Can yeah. you name some of the guests? So, I have Regina from She Talks Football. Oh, nice. Yeah. Great podcast. Yeah. Also, we're going to do a women's episode, actually. Okay. So, that'll be pretty dope. And I have... A former player, his father played for the Giants. He won a championship with Jacksonville uh, University. His name is Jarvis, diehard Bucks fan. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah, so we lit, baby, we live. That's all in November? That's all in November. Yeah, I don't want to give away too much too early. We can't be doing that. All right, we lit, we lit, baby. I got to get back to watching this Jets-Colts game. No, it's over. It's uh, 
28-10. Colts. Third quarter. Oh. Well, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Oh, well. But, I, I, you know, I DVR'd it because I'm going to go back and watch it because I'm insane like that. All right, guys. Thanks for rocking with us. Peace. Later. Later. Never wife is old bays, and they going both ways. Hot nights, cold days. I ain't fucking no strays. Me cover, no way. I won't even bother if she ain't been through a whole phase. Just to make you. <laughs>